Hey, Paul, this is just an instrumental check first. Is that all right? Go ahead, Sue. Now, can we get some of her in the monitor yet? Or you want to wait to mix the house first? Or Yeah. Just a little. I mean, I don't know. I mean, is that, is that okay? Or Okay. One, two, check. One.
Friday, Mondays is all we have to go. Five Mondays, I'll get to kiss you, I know. Five Mondays, let me count the ways. Walking together in just five Mondays. Now let's do the last verse. Good. How about you? What do you need? Say that again. You need more volume. From us? Or? Yeah, well, um, just keep the monitor low then, because that'll probably help you, right? You yeah, don't. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, what we could do is, um, I just needed to hear her a little bit on that one, um, but um, you can bring them back a little if you want, because we'll hear the house, too. Um, so, I'm going to go... How much time do we have? What? It's oh, 6.01. It's time, to start. it's time to start. Oh, it's time to go, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Grinder House. Are y'all happy to be here tonight? All right, I'm happy to be here. I, I hope I can remember doing what I do. I'm a singer-songwriter and it's been, it's been a while. <laughs> but I, I think I have the guitars pretty in tune, so uh, banjos, they never are quite in tune, so don't hold us on that one. Um, my name is Billy Kemp and uh, my wife Sue and I we live uh, a few counties over. Uh, we live uh, on a ridge called Pea Ridge in uh, DeKalb County near Smithville. Y'all been down there before? Yeah. All right. Well, we love it up here in Cumberland County, and uh, we're just glad to be here tonight. So, um, you know, this is for all the folks that had a, had a tough week. You know, weeks are good and weeks are bad, and, you know, it's... I hope that all weeks are good for everybody out there. Uh, I thought I'd start off tonight with a, a, a real uplifting song for all those folks that had a tough week. This is a song called Death and Taxes. I think you like it so far. I, all right, here we go. And I'll tell you about you know the songs and everything in a little bit. Uh,
If I could see tomorrow's paper Before I bid on this evening's race I'd be a lucky moonlight gambler Before a new sun shone his face I've heard him say that death and taxes Are all that life can guarantee That may be true for some But the fact is that isn't true for you and me You and me got a sure thing, baby We got the world on a piece of string Sure as I am of death and taxes And crying when I hear Roy Orbison sing That's how sure I am of our sure thing You gotta be a real go-getter You gotta struggle to succeed That's what they say, but I know better Easy loving is all I need If I could be a fortune teller And if I made a fortune to I'd still be faced with death and taxes I'd sooner concentrate on you. You and me got a show thing, baby. We got the world on a piece of string. Sure as I am of death and taxes and crying when I hear Roy Orbison sing. That's how sure I am of that sure thing. the world on a piece of string sure as I am of death and taxes and crying when I hear Roy Orbison sing that's how sure I am of our sure thing yeah that's how sure I am that's how sure I am that's how sure I am of our sure thing. Thank you. Do we have some Roy Orbison fans here in the house tonight? Oh, I love I loved Roy Orbison. I thought he was just one of the greatest singers. Um, and um, I got to see him a couple of times, and uh, one of those times he uh, he did the song "Crying." You remember that song? I was all right. Yeah. And uh, when he gets to the soaring part at the end of the song, the audience was up on their feet and just going crazy. And I mean, I've never seen this before. They made they, they the audience had him do the song three times right in a row. It was unbelievable. A friend of mine was playing drums for him, and that's how I got to got to that show but thanks I'm sorry no this was this was at a uh, it was in Baltimore Maryland uh, at the Inner Harbor they have a, a, a outdoor um, theater there and it was outside uh, yeah uh, yeah um, let's see so did that lift you all up for all those of you that have had a tough week I mean I know the title the title's not real up, Death and Taxes, but anyway. Now I want to do one more. I want to do a, I'm doing some lighter material to start off tonight because uh, I thought it would be fun to, to smile. Uh, this is a country song. I, I'm a songwriter. I think that's what my first love really is. I love to sing. My dad was a singer, and I think that's why I sing because I, I got it all from him. 
But, uh, and my mother played piano, so I got the music part from her. But I loved country music, and nobody in my house liked country music. You know, they, they were either soul music or big band, you know, swing, Frank Sinatra kind of stuff. And my brother liked the Rolling Stones. And here I am, I'm liking Johnny Cash and, you know, Earl Scruggs, Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. And they thought, man, where did he come from, you know? And uh, so... Now, there are a couple of Georges in country music that I really loved. I, like, uh, I loved uh, George Jones, the possum. We have any George Jones fans in, in the house here tonight? All right. And uh, George Strait. Yeah. Yeah, they're both great singers. And they're both from Texas. Really makes me mad. There's too much good talent down there in Texas. But I think there's a lot here in Middle Tennessee, isn't there? So anyway... This is a song called The Four Word Letter. When I woke up late Sunday morning, hung over from Saturday night, I didn't hear my Susie fussing. Something wasn't quite right. I looked inside her closet she had taken her clothes and coat I staggered into the kitchen which is where I found this note she left me up a four-word letter saying I'm leaving you forever the worst four-letter word that I ever heard never heard like her four-word letter the note was stuck to the ice box by a magnet shaped like a heart. The note was just one sentence long, four words that tore me apart. She wrote it on pink paper in a hand swirly and neat. There was no explanation. The message was short and sweet. She left me up a four-word letter saying, I'm leaving you forever. The worst four-letter word that I ever heard. Never heard like her four-word letter. Monday morning, I went to work, and I acted like nothing was wrong. I climbed up on my dozer with the note I'd brought along. I fired up the dozer motor so no one would notice my tears. I sat there reading her dear John as I cried on my John Deere. That's plum pitiful, isn't it? <clears throat> she left me up a four-word letter saying, I'm leaving you forever. The worst four-letter word that I ever heard. Never heard like her four-word letter. The worst four-letter word that I ever heard. Never heard like her four-word letter. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have some country music fans in the house here tonight, right? Amen. Oh, amen. amen. That's good. I'm glad to hear that because I like country. <clears throat> but I write all kinds of songs, and that's, that's the neat thing about being a songwriter is you can go wherever you want, you know? And uh, let's go to a little town uh, right now. I'm going to invite my... This is my wife, Sue Griffiths, everybody. Have a hand for Sue. She's coming up here. 
<clears throat> Howdy, Sue. Howdy, everybody. All right. Uh, cheers, everybody. Yeah. I do really love story songs, and <clears throat> um, sometimes they're uh, slightly autobiographical, but other times they're just about other, other folks, and sometimes they're made up, and sometimes they're about a, a story that I've heard. <clears throat> and um, I want to take you all to a little town in the southwestern part of Virginia, right down there where, where uh, Kentucky and Virginia and Tennessee all kind of come together. Uh, this was a story, a true story about uh, a fella that lived up in a little town <clears throat> called Richlands, which is, if you've heard of Abingdon, Virginia, it's not terribly far from there, but it's, it's going up into the, into the mountains, really. And he lived up there, and he loved riding this Harley Davidson motorcycle. And uh, this is a story about him. And his name uh, was Willie Rasnick. And uh, this is a song called Willie Rasnick Meets His Maker. Strikes and canned baked beans Put every dime he had into his Harley machine And a coal tattoo was all he saved When he hit the road hungry for all things paid The devil wants the Rasnick boy The devil gets what he can take up the holler they called him snake cause everything he done seemed like God's mistake I saw him four years later at the 67 grocery he walked right past me like he didn't even know me Four minutes later, he was dead at Big Creek With a yellow jacket stinger buried in his cheek His back hit the rail, but it weren't his speed Just a devil inside that holy machine Climbed the ridge on Berrien Day 
just to find the copperhead curl in his grave. Some said him, man, he was gone straight to hell. But that's just a story that the old folks tell. I got no truck with them superstitions, so I threw on his jacket. The devil gets what he can take His mama called him Willie Her pride and joy Folks up the holler They called him Snake Cause everything he done Seemed like God's mistake Folks up the holler They called him Snake Cause everything he done Seem like God's mistake. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. I'll get Sue back up in a bit. Yeah, that is actually a true story. The folks in town thought that he probably was, you know, driving too fast or he had been drinking or something, you know, and, and it turned out that he got stung by a yellow jacket and he ran off the road and lost his life. And that's the, that's the thing I, I was... I, we, we were hoping to get out of that song was that, you know, when you hear the news about somebody, you know, you, we all do this. We, we just make assumptions and, and think things. And, and then you, you learn the story and, and then it, it's cont contrary to what you were thinking. And it really can throw you. So um, anyway, let's see. I want to do another story song. Um, do we have any? Uh, I always ask this at the beginning of this song. Do we have any farmers in the house or people that know farmers? Yay. The world wouldn't turn without farmers. I think they're the greatest people in the world, hardworking. Up on Pea Ridge, where we live, there are a bunch of farmers. You know, they mostly do corn and soy, but they're also uh, beef cattle farmers up there. And uh, they work real hard. They just harvested the soy just last week, and boy, it was a dust storm up there on Pea Ridge because it had been dry. Um, so this is the story about a farmer that farmed here in America in the 1920s and 30s. And that was a tough time to farm because, you know, uh, commodity prices had dropped after World War I. And, and uh, uh, the Dust Bowl days came in the 1930s. It was just really tough. And this, this farmer in this story, Roy Pollock, uh, was out west. And he kept moving his family from place to place. And he would always tell his family that the next place we go is the promised land. It's, this is going to be where we, we, uh, we make it. And uh, I, This song uh, is about a move that he took the family from Cody, Wyoming, to a town in, in uh, California called Janesville. And uh, that's the name of the song, Janesville. land 
This weather town with fields of brown is fine to warm me down. My hopes are dried up and they've blown away. Janesville has a river where the water tastes like wine, and they say the sun shines every day. Yeah. Catch a job at the hired hand. I'm going down to Janesville without warning. Some folks say that it's the promised land. Well, I don't know, but I've been told it never does get cold. In Janesville, it's springtime. All year round, they say the soil is rich, just like chocolate in your hands. Drop a seed, and the plants jump from the ground. I'm going down to Janesville in the morning, try to catch a job at a hired hand. Yeah. I'm going down to Janesville with and some folks say that it's the promised land. It might be true or untrue, but what else can I do? There's nothing left here to be done. If I don't leave tomorrow, I might never get away. Look out, Janesville! Here I come. I'm going down to Janesville in the morning, try to catch a job at a high Say that it's the promised land. I'm going down to Jamesville in the morning, try to catch a job at a high hand. I'm going down to Jamesville without warning. Some folks say that it's the promised land. The promised land. The promised land. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to get another guitar out. Can you? See? We have a lot of instruments up here. We don't travel light. Uh, even my picks are extra heavy. Uh, Asa was asking me, can I help you carry anything in, Billy? And I said, yeah, my extra heavy picks. Uh, oh, this is a, a, a Collings guitar made by a fellow named Bill Collings who we lost a few years ago, but he, he's, he had a long run of making great guitars that were kind of copies of Martin guitars and Gibsons. And uh, I found this one in uh, Nashville at a great guitar shop called Cotton Music. Now it's called the Great American Guitar Store. Huh? North a North American guitar. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, in Nashville. Okay, so I'm going to get out an older guitar. That Collings was made, I think, in around 2007. And, uh, this guitar, for all the folks out in the stream world, you're not here, but this is a shiny guitar. I can blind people almost. With, can, sorry about that. Uh, this is a 1930 National Resophonic guitar. Yep, and uh, it warms Sue and I up in the winters when it's cold. See that? There you go.
There you go. All right. This is a song that I've been wanting to write for literally, I think, 40 years, and I finally wrote it. Um, I, I, I co-wrote it with a friend. But the title has been with me since 1982. Isn't that crazy? Just a song title sitting around. And then finally, during this pandemic, uh, I said it's time to write that song. And I'm going to sing it now. It's called Onions, Old Movies, and You. <laughs> Summertime grilling, patties all in place. I'm chopping onions, tears roll down my face. Late in December, Jimmy Stewart's on TV. It's a wonderful life for him, but it's crying time for me. Three things sure to make me cry, cry, cry. Can't help myself. No matter how I try, try, try I ain't gonna cry this time But then I do All because of three things Onions, old movies, and you Every time you leave me I go to bed and weep Curl up like a baby And cry my to sleep then you come back and still we can't agree it's leaving time for you but it's crying time for me three things sure to make me cry 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 can't help myself no matter how i try 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 i ain't gonna cry this time but then i because of three things onions old movies and you
Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, um, you know, the pandemic is, uh, it's, I, sh I shouldn't be bringing it up, really. We're here to have fun and have a good time, and we want all that to be behind us. But at the beginning of it, I started reading this book by a blues uh, songwriter that I really love named Willie Dixon. And um, his story was fascinating, and um, it got me thinking about writing a, a blues song. And so this was uh, my attempt to, to write a, a blues song. Uh, <clears throat> Willie said in the book that uh, when God made man, man was lonesome, and then God made a woman, and everything was all right after that. But it's funny, I, it turned in, when I was thinking of this, I was thinking of how I love going out into, uh, into the woods, uh, because that always makes me feel good, you know? And uh, I was thinking of Mother Nature uh, for, for the, the idea of, of the woman in the song, but then it, it just went back to being a relationship kind of song, like a lot of songs do. So, But I'm also thinking of Mother Nature on this one, too. And a pair of worn out shoes. When he catches the blues, she can take them away. When he catches the blues, she can take them away. Take them, take them away. Take them, take them away. Take them, take them away, please. To her side before the dark of night. She wraps her arms around him and holds him oh so tight. Shining like a halo, a circle round the sun. She can make him shout, so glad I was born. When he catches the blues, she can take them away. When he catches the blues, she can take them away. Take them, take them away. Take them, take them away. Take them, take them away, please. Take these blues away. Take 
them away. Take them, take them away. Take them, take them away, please. Take these blues away. Shake them, shake them, sugary. I'm suffering, can't you see? Shake them, shake them, sugar, babe. Please take these blues away. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you all like the National Steel Body Guitar? Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. I love playing on this guitar. Um, I think I'm going to invite my wife up one more time. How about a hand for Sue Griffiths, everybody? In your arms. Now, Sue is also a, a songwriter, and um, <laughs> this is a song that we wrote together. And uh, she wrote the words, and she was thinking of... Uh, the, you remember the songwriter Roger Miller? Yeah. He had a song uh, years ago called Reincarnation. It's a really funny song. Uh, if I was a bird and you was a fish, what would we do? I guess we'd wish for reincarnation. Uh, and, um, but he mentions a bird and a fish and flowers and a tree in the song. And Sue uh, wanted to write a song with those, those uh, images. So this is one we wrote called In Your Arms. I can't imagine where I'd rather be. Sounds good. What kind of banjo are you playing there, Sue? Uh, this is... Uh, on the mic. You know. This is an Eastman banjo. It's actually Chinese build it, but it's based on a 193 or 194 Vega White Lady. Oh, okay. Um, more than you need to know. <laughs> but um, nice, nice instrument. You ready? Yeah. If I was a bird, I'd sing a song to heaven. If I was a bird, I'd soar across the sea. If I was a bird, I'd fly into your arms, dear. In your arms. Can't imagine where I'd rather be in your arms, in your arms, by your side, by your side, with you every heartbeat in your arms, in your arms, by, by your side. It's where I long to be. If I was a fish, I'd swim across the ocean. If I was a fish, I'd pass up every hook and line. If I was a fish, I'd jump into your arms, dear. In your arms. I can't imagine where I'd rather be. In your arms. In your arms. By your side. By your side. With you every heartbeat in your arms. In your arms. By your side. It's where I long to be. All right. a tree I'd grow as tall as sunshine if I was a tree I would push my roots to China if I was a tree my limbs would reach out for your arms dear in your arms I can't imagine where I'd rather be in your arms in your arms by your side by your side with you every heartbeat in your arms in your by your side is where I long to be. In your arms. In your arms. By your side. By your side. With you every heartbeat in your arms. In your arms. By your side is where I long to be. Let me hear that again, Sue.
Thank you. All right, Sue. Thank you. I'm going to uh, get another guitar out. Is that all right? Well, I, say, I started the night off by saying I hope I can remember how to do this because since, uh, I guess, I, I, I tour, I, I used, I, well, I used to. <laughs> I, you know, go all over the United States and over, in, over the UK, and, and I was out on the road a lot and up until, you know, March of 2020. And right in the middle of March, my, my shows started canceling, and I had... I came home to Middle Tennessee, and I think I've only played, uh, how many shows, Sue? Four? With virtual, probably ten. Oh, yeah, I, I've done some virtual concerts, which are kind of interesting. I, I'm not, cra I, this is what I like right here. This feels so good. And um, so, uh, but there was a lot of time to, to do music at home, and, and so writing songs that, that happened and um, I'm doing some new songs tonight that have never I've never played before uh, and this is uh, one of those so this is a Asa this is a world premiere right here in Crossville yeah at the grinder house coffee of no wonderful place we were so looking forward to coming back here now this song is, is mostly true. It's, it's, it's autobiographical. Uh, I moved to Tennessee in, um, a long time ago, in 1982, and um, I toured with some country music artists uh, for a while, and I played at the Grand Ole Opry with a singer named Jeannie Pruitt, and uh, I've really been grateful and, and blessed with being able to make music. And, uh, but this, this is a little story that happened out west, and uh, uh, it's called The Hole in the Bus. And the bus is one of those, you know, touring buses that country music people uh, tour on. Uh, all right. I was trying to sleep in the back of the bus But the drummer and the singer were starting to cuss They were fighting about who screwed up the song The one said I'm right and the other you're wrong The voices grew louder and names they were called A whiskey glass shattered Against the bus wall Amid all the screaming A pistol shot fired And then all was quiet Except for the tired The singer never fixed The whole bus he left it as a warning for the rest of us the bullet left a hole the size of a dime a reminder that a gun can go off anytime when we woke in the morning nobody was dead there was no explanation, not a single word said. The drummer drank coffee, he played the show that night. And the whole, the only proof that there'd, there'd been a fight. The singer never fixed the hole in the bus. He left it as a warning 
for the rest of us the bullet left a hole the size of a dime a reminder that a gun can go off anytime the roadie used duct tape to cover the hole and the singer tore it off so the opening would show so when the wind whistles through the hole in the glass we know there's a line that we shouldn't step past The singer never fixed the hole in the bus. He left it as a warning for the rest of us. The bullet left a hole the size of a dime. A reminder that a gun can go off any time the bullet left a hole the size of a dime a reminder that a gun can go off any time thank you I was so scared that night on those buses, there's a lounge, you know, where people hang out and play cards, drink, drink coffee or whiskey or whatever, and, and have fun. And, and then there's the bunk area in the back. And my bunk was the closest one to the lounge. And boy, when things started heating up, I went back to my bunk and I was just praying, please, please, God, get us through this, you know. And we all heard this shot. And nobody dared go out there. I was scared to death. And I just, I probably stayed up all night wondering what the heck was that? And then the next morning, there it was, that hole in the bus, and everybody was just, everything was all right. How big was the hole? There was about, about a dime. About a dime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah. Hey, speaking of di a dime... Hey, Asa, how many songs should I do? Can I, can I do one more and take a short break? Is that what we do? Or? No break. No break. Oh, okay. That's okay. I can go for two hours straight. I love it. Yeah. We'll tie you down to the chair. <laughs> if you need a break, man, don't worry about it. Take a break. I've been looking for a break since 1982. See, look at that. See that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to sing a song uh, about a hobo. Y'all like hobo songs? I, I like hobo songs. All right. Let's see. Um, um. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, I hope I remember how to do this. It's just crazy. You know, you're, 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 you get in shape playing concerts and being out there, and you're sitting at home, and you're playing to your, your four walls and, and your cat and your dog, and, I mean, they, they kind of lay on the bed and just nod out on your concert. I know. Boy, I'll tell you what, the guy in this song is a real dreamer. He's a hobo and thinking if he could just get $10, he could buy a diamond ring and a piece of land and build a house with a picket fence for $10. I know, yeah. Never, never hurts to dream, does it?
If I ever get ten dollars, gonna buy me a three-piece suit and gonna buy you a diamond ring, gonna marry you. If I ever get ten dollars, gonna find us a piece of land and build a house with a picket fence with my own two hands. If I ever get ten dollars, gonna quit this railway car and hang up my walking shoes and stay right by your side. If I ever get ten dollars, gonna find us a piece of land and build a house with a picket fence with my own two hands. If I ever get ten dollars, gonna quit this railway car and hang up my walking shoes and stay right by your side. If I ever get ten dollars, gonna buy me a three-piece suit and gonna buy you a diamond ring. Gonna marry you Gonna buy you a diamond ring Gonna marry I'm back from the break. <laughs> that was my stand-up. That was my uh, two sets. What do they call that? The seventh inning stretch, right? Yeah. Um, where's, oh. Um, I'll take a five minute. Is a five minute break good with everybody? I want to make sure there's not a hole out in my car, a dime-sized hole in my car. And if y'all have any questions or anything, please, you know, just come over and say hi. Oh, yes, speaking of that, do you remember these little round disc things called CDs? Oh, you don't remember. Yeah, I know. It, 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 it's been a long time. I know, I know. Gosh, the whole world is streaming now. It's stream, 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 isn't it? Uh, I would appreciate it if you did stream my music at Spotify. Every time I get a play, I think I make... Uh, point zero 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 one. Yeah. I'm like the hobo. When I make ten dollars from Spotify, it'll probably be about a hundred thousand plays. <laughs> no, so we have some CDs, don't we? They're over there on the table. And you know what, folks? Since it's Chris near Christmas time tonight, we have a special. One for 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 ten dollars, and two for twenty.
your evening with us. Appreciate it. Well, sorry I had to leave. What's that? Okay. All righty. We are. We are back, and uh, Asa and Angela, I'm so great, so thankful to be here again. It's so great to see you all, and be up here on the, on the plateau. You know, where we live, it's really the edge of the Cumberland Plateau. And we've been there for four years now, and we still haven't fallen off. You don't have to put your earplugs in. I'm not going to play that loud, but I'm going to play a little electric guitar. one I've been wanting to try. I, 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 this is again another world premiere. This is, was written in about, I don't know, six months ago. And I don't know why I'm moving that microphone because it's not going to, I'm going through the amp. Um, it's just habit. Uh, this is a song, uh, I was just talking to you, some friends here that, who lived in Austin, Texas. Let's hear it for Austin. I love Austin. Great music town, and uh, I mean, it's the home of Willie Nelson, right? Uh, one of my favorites, and uh, actually, uh, this song I'm going to do here, I got the title in Texas, in just outside of Austin. I think, uh, what was the name of this town where, it's, there's, there's, a, there's a, uh, a honky tonk. <laughs> uh, it's called Pooty's Hilltop Bar and Grill, it's Willie, it was Willie Nelson's road manager's place. And I played there, uh, and, but Pooty, who we, we lost Pooty a few years ago, um, he had an expression that he shared with everybody every day. He would say, there are no bad days, right? And that's what it says at his website for the, for the honky tonk. No bad days, and I always like that, so. Um, <laughs> Here's my, my attempt to write a song called No Bad Days. Now, here we go. Let's see. Had a bad day on the I got it. This is the first time I've done this. So I was singing it. Sue was trying to listen to the radio on the way up here, and I'm singing the song. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Hand in hand. 
Just as sure as there'll be rain, they'll pull into our small town as regular as the train. They say you can't get flowers without a little rain. But the rich folks pick the blossoms while we'll wash down the drain. Whenever I feel this way, I know what I have to do. Gotta get back to our home. There's no bad days with you. No bad days when we're walking hand in hand out in the wood. No bad days when we're fixing apple pie the way we should. No bad days when we're picking banjo strings lift my Thank you very much. Thank you. I love this guitar. This is a, a now y'all heard of a Fender guitar? Fender guitars, yeah? Uh, well, this one's based on a Fender Telecaster, and a guy up in Ithaca, New York made this. Uh, is it Mick Lapinto? Yeah, Mick Lapinto makes these guitars in Ithaca, New York, and he calls it an Ithacaster. <laughs> I know, it's kind of fun. And you know, the, for me, the prerequisite for a good guitar is the color of it. I know. And I, it didn't matter how this guitar played. As soon as I saw the color of it, I said, I want that. And so. All right, let's see. Hey, Paul, where is Paul? Let's give Paul a hand doing the sound. There he is. Can you all get your hands together for Paul? Thank you, Paul. Is, is the amp stage volume too loud? Is it good? I, it's fine. Okay, good. 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 All right. Okay, this is a song about a fella that he, uh, he just is constantly running, running and running and running and running. And that's the name of the song, Running. I was walking down a back road underneath the maple tree. I was soaking up some sunshine and whistling in the summer breeze. Suddenly a rock came flying. Behind the ear, someone in the bushes shouted, We don't want your kind around here. I wish I knew just what I'd done. I got no choice except to run. I run and run. Can't catch my breath. I was sitting at a cafe underneath the sky so clear, checking out the morning paper and drinking myself a beer. A stranger started shouting, I saw you with my wife. I said, hey man, I don't know you. He pushed me and pulled out a knife. I wish I knew just what I'd done. But I got no choice except to run. I run and run. I never rest. They got me running, running, running. Can't catch my breath. 
The taxman's at the front door, the cops are in the backyard waiting. I slip out the side door running without hesitating. Everywhere I go, I gotta keep on glancing over my shoulder. Guitar, the beat was pumping like a piston. I was feeling like a rock and roll star. Somebody started shouting, Play something that we know. A bottle flew right by me, and then I said, It's time to go. I wish I knew just what I'd done. I got no choice. Except you run I run and run I never rest They got me running, 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 running I can't catch my breath I run and run I never rest They got me running, 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 running Thank you. Oh, that poor fella. All right. I want to sing a song now. That was just all made up, that stuff there. But um, I want to sing a song that's autobiographical. Uh, my, my brother, uh, I grew up, I didn't grow up in Middle Tennessee. It was really funny. Over the summer, my, my lawnmower was having trouble. And my neighbor, who's a farmer, cattle farmer, told me about a guy that worked on you know, lawnmowers. And I went over to see this fella. And I'd, I'd never met him before. And uh, my, my neighbor, is his name is Steven, the cattle farmer. And uh, I get over there and I, you know, I show the guy the mower and talk about it. And you know, we, we, we work it all out. And he says, oh, just come on back in a week. You know? He goes, uh, Billy, let me ask you something. You don't look like Steven and I. Are you from here? <laughs> and I, I said, no, uh, I'm from, well, I'm almost a Yankee. He goes, what do you mean? I said, well, I grew up in the state of Maryland. He goes, that's a Yankee. I said, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, if I go up to Pennsylvania, I'm a Southerner. And if I go down to Virginia, I'm a Yankee. So I like to say I'm from the confused state of Maryland. And uh, my brother is a drummer who lives still in Baltimore. And uh, we used to play at this... Uh, it's not a honky-tonk. It was a, a college uh, uh, town, and it had a, a bar and a music venue there. And uh, we used to play there. Near, it's near uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, but it's just in the Maryland line. And um, <clears throat> we used to go up there in the winter, and sometimes we were a four-piece band, and a lot of times we were in two vehicles. And there were times when only one of the vehicles made it because the snow drifts were so high and... The other, the other car got, got in trouble, and I had to play a couple of shows as a duo. We were a quartet. I know, that was really something. We were really worried, and, and, but my brother and I were always in one car together, and this is a story about playing at that, at that venue. Oh, and I like to say, this is a co-write with the poet Robert Frost. Yeah, I got a co-write with Robert Frost. Uh, the song is called promises to keep and you probably remember the lines that he wrote in a poem uh, I got miles to go and promises to keep is it stopping on a snowy winter evening uh, right is that it Sue you know that one okay anyway it doesn't matter here we go okay <laughs> It's a bad night to be driving up to Emmitsburg. I call it off and go back home, but I gave my word. 
Why do we drive this beat up van to these funky bars? When we only make a hundred bucks to play our guitars. These old wipers ain't helping much in this snow tonight. I could call and tell a lie, but I just would not feel right. To strand those kids up in that town on a Friday night. With nothing but a jukebox and a chance to fight. Oh, ho, ho, Dougie, it's cold tonight. The snow is falling and I know you want to sleep. Dougie, we can't stop now. We got miles to go and promises to keep. to go and promises to keep uh -huh. miles to go and promises to keep week after week year after year we play the bars I love the songs, I love the crowds, I'm getting kind of tired. Mama says if we took a job down at the factory, that we could stay home every weekend and watch TV. But remember what we promised when we were young. We would always try to live the life of the songs we sung. Hey, Dougie, bang on that heater, try to make it work. You have to push to make it then by eight o'clock. Oh, 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 Dougie, it's cold at night. The snow is falling and I know you want to sleep. Dougie, we can't stop now. We got miles to go and promises to keep. Uh huh. Miles to go and promises to keep. Uh huh. Miles to go and promises to keep. Ah da da da. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Sue, you want to come up? All right. How about a hand again for Sue Griffiths, everybody? I think I've played this little guitar yet, have I? Oh, yeah, this is a, a Martin guitar. And it's, uh, <clears throat> it was made also in 1930. And so it's a Depression era guitar. And as you can see, there, there really aren't any embellishments on this thing. It's, it's just wood and, and strings. You know, no inlay. You know, I mean, look at there's no real inlay on the fingerboard. And, uh, you know, Martin, you know, like all the other folks, <laughs> Back then, they were, they were hurting, and so they still wanted to put guitars out. As a matter of fact, they don't even have the name of the guitar like all Martins do on the front. They just have it stamped on the back. And, uh, but I found this guitar in Nashville, and I love this little guitar. Um, it's made out of all mahogany wood. Uh, mahogany, so I named it Mo, Mahogany. And... Um, I tune it a little bit low, so his full name is Lomo. <laughs> yeah. um. How's your 
Real quick, a real quick story. Um, I know that if you live here in Middle Tennessee, you're not uh, unfamiliar with um, <clears throat> storms <laughs> and tornadoes. <clears throat> We've had some some tough years behind us with 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 storms. And uh, <clears throat> I had a friend of mine from England visiting with me, and uh, <clears throat> we were listening to the radio. <clears throat> he had come uh, in the spring. And we kept, we were listening to the WSM radio, the Grand Ole Opry radio, and we kept getting storm warnings on the radio. And he, he got a kick out of the fact that they would say, you know, get into the safest room in the house. You know, because that's not something they, they have over in England. They don't have that kind of uh, thing happening there. And so he was really amazed by that. And so I said, Al Alfred, let's write a song together. So we wrote this song. <clears throat> Uh, let's dedicate it to all the, the folks that were hit hard by the tornado or tornadoes here in Middle Tennessee. This is called <clears throat> Down Where the Dogwoods Bloomed. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. That was sweet. Um, you know what? Um, hey, Sue, let me see that banjo. Okay. Um, they wanted to hear a banjo. Uh, All right. 
song. Um, do you mind singing on this one? Another light. Can you do it? If not, that's all right. Do it again. Okay. No worries. This is for the folks over here. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is a really old banjo I'm playing here. Um, this is, uh, we call her Mildred the Mystic because she's got her name Mystic right there on this little plate here. And this banjo was made in, in believe it or not, in the 19th century. And it's still, it's still holding together. They used good glue or something. Uh, um, Sue, where did you find this banjo? This is Sue's banjo. In Florida, yeah. Is that where all ban old banjos go to retire and have a have sunny days? Uh, huh? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not going to be picking like Earl Scruggs or anything, but um, what's I know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I haven't done this one in a long time, and I, I thought I'd do it um, now. Um, I was. I do like poetry. I, I, you know, songwriters, we get ideas from reading other people's poems, and sometimes we even steal lines from them, you know, like I did with Robert Frost with Miles to Go and Promises to Keep. But um, anyway, I was reading this poem, and I like things about farmers, too, and I had a book of great things for me, poems about farmers. I know. And uh, <clears throat> this one poem I really liked, it was called and the title says it all. It, this could be a one-line poem, and you know already know what the, 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 the story's about. The, po the poem was called Gone Away with a Handsomer Man. I know, we, we can figure that one out, can't we? And it made me think of this guy named A.P. Carter who started the Carter family uh, in Southwest Virginia. And um, <clears throat> because uh, he... And his wife, Sarah, and her cousin, Maybell, they were the Carter family, and they did so many great things for country music. And um, <clears throat> one day, Sarah, she went away with a handsomer man. And that's why it made me think of, well, I'm saying he was a handsomer man. I don't know if he really was. But Sarah thought he was. Okay. And this is called uh, <clears throat> Another Life to Live. stood on a porch one evening by the light of the moon up above he'd given his heart to her surely but she was no longer in love he was standing beside her shadow Sue, help me. He was standing beside her. Oh, oh, this is awful, friends. I, this, this doesn't happen. Errol Scruggs would never have done this. Um, yeah, okay, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me start the second verse. This is the thing about songwriting and, and trying to remember songs. When you get the first line of the verse, you usually get the rest of the verse, and I, I got stumped in the middle of the verse. Let me try that verse again. Do you all remember where the story is? She, she was surely in love, or he was surely in love, but she wasn't. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's all you need to know, yeah. Okay, let me see. They stood. She, he was standing beside her shadow. God, now I'm not even forgetting that. Um, oh, I feel terrible. Asa, can you help me? Yeah. Oh, good. You're streaming this, aren't you? Hello, everybody. This is what a songwriter looks like when he can't remember the words to his own song. Um, can I try it one more time? Because maybe, uh, let me, oh, appreciate it. All right. All right, all right. Hey, I just got an encore for not remembering the song. Okay, so that's, this is a history here. Okay, here we go. Let's, okay, the song's called <laughs> Another Life. Take two, Asa. The song's called Another Life to Live. <laughs> the 
They stood on a porch one evening By the light of the moon up above He'd given his heart to her surely But she was no longer in love He was standing beside her shadow when she spoke those words of goodbye, she never intended to hurt him. Yay! Never meant to be unkind. My dear, I've fallen for another. Can you find it in your heart to forgive? I no longer wish to be your lover. My hope is that you'll find another. Another life to live. She told him farewell in the summer. When the whippoorwill makes a lonesome tone. And just like that bird, he is crying. And each night, he sits all alone and wonders if he'll ever love another. Another's heart he can hold forevermore and worries if he does love another. Will she say, those words he's heard before. My dear, I've fallen for another. Can you find it in your heart to forgive? I no longer wish to be your lover. My hope is that you'll find another. My dear, I've fallen for another. Can you find it in your heart to forgive? I no longer wish to be your lover. My hope is that you find another. Another life to live. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Is that good? All right. It was worth it. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Here's soup. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see. I have a, I have a set list here. It, here, see, two sets, two sets, and I, I look at this thing to see what the next. Oh, I want to do this song. This is another new song. I'm doing a bunch of new ones here. Um, <clears throat> oh, oh, Paul, Paul, I am so sorry. Asa. Okay, good. That happens. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm up here. Okay. Capo. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I was telling some folks, uh, I was during the, that long break I took, um, <laughs> uh, that <clears throat> Sue and I live up on a ridge. Uh, it's called Pea Ridge. Um, uh, in DeKalb County, not far from here, but about a, was it an hour, 45 minutes? Hour and, hour and 15, yeah. And um, <clears throat> we live on the edge of the Cumberland Plateau, and uh, we really like it there, and we see a lot of crows. The crows are, they, they love the acorns, don't they? They, they go after those acorns, and I talk to them sometimes. I, I don't know if they're hearing me. I, it, sometimes it seems like they are listening. And this is a song called <clears throat> As the Crow Flies.
As the crow flies, honey, I'm not so far away. As the crow flies, honey, I could get there in a day. As the heart breaks, baby, I can't seem to find my way. As the creek flows, baby, I'd float up to your door. As the creek flows, baby, I don't even need an oar. As the heart floods, honey, on a distant shore. As the road runs, mama, I know that you are near. As the road runs, mama, the route is wide and clear. As the heart turns, darling, I can't get there from here. No, no, no. As the stone rolls, darling, I would not gather. As the stone rolls, darling, not a minute would be lost. As the heart stalls, mama, I just can't get across. Hey, Sue, you want to come back up? All right. You going to play the banjo? Yeah, I, I wish I were. Yeah. Boy, I've had a really good time here tonight, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us and sharing your evening with us. Yeah. mention a, a, a co-writer friend of mine who I write a lot of songs with. He lives up in Baltimore. His name is Jeffrey Himes, and he's co-written a bunch of the songs we've been doing here tonight. And um, <clears throat> there's another writer, uh, well, I've, I've, I've written songs with Sue, and there's another writer, Jenny Hankins, who's an Appalachian singer that I've co-written a bunch of songs with. Um, but uh, this is one that Jeff Himes and I wrote, and um, it's called, I Wish I Were Back Home with You Tonight.
The layoff never seemed to end. Soon there was nothing left to spend. With the mortgage late and the baby due, there was nothing else I could do. I took a bus to this desert town where they stripped the coal right from the ground. They gave me a hard hat and a pack, a rundown trailer in the back. I remember how you looked. Standing at the bus station As you bit your lower lip In pure frustration You handed me a sandwich And a piece of apple pie There was nothing left to say Except goodbye These boomtown streets are lined With flashing lights walls, I hear the neighbors fight. I close my eyes, clutch my pillow tight. I wish I were back home with you tonight. I work all day in the blazing sun. I watch TV when I am done. I count the money that I've earned in every day till I return. And when I finally come home, we'll never again sleep alone. I'm gonna sit on the front porch swing with you, watch our friends walking down the avenue. But till then, I gotta work real hard. I gotta forget how many miles away from me you are. I gotta get to sleep now before the morning sun. I'm gonna grip my teeth and go to work again. These boomtown streets are lined with flashing lights. Through these thin walls, I hear the neighbors fight. I close my eyes, clutch my pillow tight. I wish I were back home with you tonight. With you tonight. All right. How about a hand for Sue Griffiths, everybody? I have, had, I have had such a good time here tonight. They're telling me that I only have time for 30 more. Um, is that right, Asa? 30 more. 30 more. There you go. Um, I Really, I've had a great time. So I think all the songs, yeah, every song I've done tonight, I've written or co-written. And uh, I think I'm going to do a song by somebody else, uh, a writer who I really love. Um, he was from St. Louis, Missouri. And his name was Chuck Berry. Do y'all remember Chuck? He wrote, he, they call him the Shakespeare of rock and roll. 
because he wrote so many great songs. Let me get, uh, or I'll just play it on this guitar. <clears throat> and this is the story of the elusive Nadine. And can y'all get your hands? Thank you very much. Thank you. I forgot to mention there's a there's a glass jar here that there people were putting some some coin in. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Still driving to these honky tonks. Still making a hundred bucks playing these guitars. Um, um, I know. Uh, and inflation's going strong, six percent, and I'm still only making a hundred bucks playing these guitars. Ninety-four bucks. <laughs> That's right, I'm making 94 bucks. Oh no. Oh, there's a song. No, 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 I like, I'm, it's, it's gonna happen. It's, yeah. Uh, um, where was I? A Chuck Berry or? Yeah, okay, Chuck Berry, yeah. And um, so, I, oh, and can you get your hands together one more time for Asa and Angela, the hosts here at the <laughs> Grinder House Coffee, and all the staff and support. Please tip them generously. Uh, and one more time also for Paul doing the sound. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. There he is. Thank you. Paul. So anyway, here's the story of, of Nadine. And uh, again, thank you all for sharing your evening with us tonight. We're, we're grateful and we'll look forward to the next time we see you. As I got on a city bus and found a vacant seat, I thought I saw my future bride walking up the street. I shouted to the driver, hey conductor, you must slow down, I think I see you. Please let me off this bus. Nadine, honey, is that you? Oh, Nadine, honey, is that you? Every time I see you, darling, but there's something new. I saw her from the corner when she turned and doubled back. She started walking toward a coffee-colored Cadillac. I was pushing through the crowd, trying to get to where she's at. I was campaign shouting like a southern diplomat, Nadine. Honey, is that you? Whoa, Nadine. Every time I see you, darling, you up to something new. I saw her from the corner when she turned and doubled back. She started walking toward a coffee color Cadillac. Oh no, I already sang that verse. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, next verse. Um, I, and now I'm having trouble remembering that one. Uh, let's uh, go to the last verse here. Sorry, Chuck. She moves around like a wave with summer breeze. No, go driver, go gone, catch it for me, please. Moving through the traffic like a landed cavalier. Leaning at the taxi window, oh, she's trying to do her hair, Nadine. Honey, is that you? Whoa, Nadine. Honey, where are you? Every time I see you, darling, you up to something new. Help me out. Oh, Nadine. Honey, is that you? Whoa, Nadine. Honey, where are you? See, like every time I see you, darling, you up. Every time I see you, darling, you up to something new. Turn it around. See, like every time I see you, darling, you up to something new.